will come again. Our next topic on algorithms design and analysis course is odd even sort. Odd even sort, or sometimes called brick sort, is a variation of bubble sort. It's a simple sorting algorithm which was developed for use on parallel processors with local interconnection. It works by co comparing all odd even indexed pairs of adjacent elements in the list. And if a pair is in the wrong order, the elements are swapped. The next step repeats this for even odd indexed pairs. Then it alternates between odd even and even odd steps until the list is sorted. In the worst case, n iterations are required. Here we have example. This is the input array. We compare eight, six. So we swap them. Three, one, we swap them. Seven, two, also we swap them. Four, five, we do not need swap. Now we take the uh, even odd pair, eight, one, three, two, seven, four, etc. We repeat this process uh, until the array is sorted. In the worst case, we need n iterations to sort the array. Uh, for example, consider that the last element is the, small, the smallest. So on each iteration, we move it one position to the left. So we need n iterations to move it to its proper place. We can implement the uh, odd even sort in different ways. Here, as you see, we can arrange uh, external loop uh, and range n, the size of the array. And inside this loop, we have two loops, one for the odd even pair and one for the even odd pair. So the complexity will be big O of n squared. But this is a very bad implementation. Uh, do you see if in iteration i, we do not swap anything, and on iteration i plus one, we do not swap any elements, then they are sorted, and we do not need to go uh, as in bubble sort for the next iterations. And this is the uh, advantage of the odd uh, even sort. It can, if we implement it in the right way, we can sort the array in less than n iterations. Here is the Python program. Uh, the function we pass to the function the array and its size. We can declare logical or variable uh, not sorted equal to zero, or even true and false you can use. Here, the while is our external loop. While not sorted equals zero. And here we have two loops. We assign one to not sorted. Now, for i in range one and minus one with step two, we swap the elements if they are not in the proper place. And if uh, we swap, then unsorted is reversed to zero. Now we start with the next loop for i and range zero and minus one step two. And again, we swap these elements if they are in the wrong order. And if we swap, we reverse the state of not sorted. And again, while not sorted equals zero, we repeat. Here you can see not sorted is equal to one. So if we do not swap not sorted, these statements will not be executed. Will stay one. 
And here, if we do not swap, here, if we do not swap, not sorted, we remain one and we uh, exit the loop and retain with the sorted array. If any uh, time we swap the elements, not sorted should be switched to zero. As I mentioned, time complexity for the odd even sort on the, on the worst case is in square. But if the array is sorted for in iterations, it can be much less than in square. And this is one advantage of odd even sort over the bubble sort. Thank you.